Fest Weekend. Fest. Fest. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You know who it is. It's your girl Oba Hema. Oba Hema. I'm joking. Um, before starting this video, big ups to Brillada Clothing. Um, they sent me this crop jumper. The crop jumper. And literally, guys, the quality is heavy and it's war. Mm -mm. It's actually war. Mm -mm. Okay. But when crop peels, they have for men's as well. They have t shirts, they have jumpers for men's, they have t shirts for men's. So it's a unisex thing. You know I mean? Cool thing. As you're in the title, this is a uni advice video. Um, I've already done one where my girls like ages ago. I'll put a link somewhere and um, make sure you watch that. Uh, but this one is more, I don't know, one to one, isn't it? So I'm talking to y'all like you came to me for advice, isn't it? So cool. By the way, um, I'm not a UK student, so sorry if some stuff don't relate to UK people. Um, I'm not international, so even that, yeah, I'm European student. Big up European students. I'm Italian, as you already know. Yeah, if you if you see my Q and A's and all of that, all of that, all of that, you know. Uh, by the way, follow me on Snapchat right now. Follow me on Insta and follow me on Twitter. So like you guys going to uni in 2017 you're thinking that i'm gonna be the baddest of the baddest i'm gonna spend all my uh, student finance um i'm gonna eat good <laughs> party every night yeah yeah no it's not like that um yeah first thing i'm gonna say is you can live in two different places on campus or, or off campus why am i always dancing like you can live on campus or off on campus or off campus on campus like to be honest i didn't live on campus i lived in an accommodation like you know accommodation but outside campus like somewhere like 10 minutes away from uni because i don't know i don't know why don't even ask me why because i don't know i think because it was cheap i recommend you guys to live on campus and reasons being you make better friends um you're more updated to what's going on you know what i mean yeah living off campus living off campus is actually hard if you are a lazy person but i could make it to my 9 a.m and people that were living in, on campus did not make it to the 9 a.m imagine i live 20 30 minutes away from uni and i could make it for my one my, my one a.m my 9 a.m freshest week slash student union so um, uni as you know the first weeks I said first weeks listen properly first week first first okay I didn't say first month or first three months or first year is freshest week I said first week okay so yeah first week there's um uh, freshest week where uh, you can go whatever you want to be nice there's parties raves and all that and blah blah and freshest fair freshest fair go to the freshest fair guys because freshest fair is where um, new students can go there and get an insight of their university and the different um, unions and societies that are in the uni and trust me in one uni and on one campus there can be 
20 or 25 societies. You can join the football club, basketball, volleyball, um, uh, African club, ACS. Um, so make sure you wake up, get yourself flaky or paying for money. Like, yeah, get yourself done and go to the freshest fair because it's really important for you. Can get freebies, can get free dominoes, free pizza, um, what else? Uh, free bottle, uh, free uni jumper. I have my uni jumper. I wasn't wearing today because I obviously have to promote this. So you get me, yeah. Um, and loads of stuff, yeah. So make sure you go to the freshest fair. Uh, student union. I signed up to. You. Now I signed up to the basketball one, but at the end I didn't go because I didn't want to pay fifty pounds. I'm being honest. I did not want to pay fifty pounds. Go to your lectures, but also um get something else at uni that you can get your mind off and not be stressed and all that stuff you get me third thing is um student finance and managing your money okay so hmm, student finance can be bay or cannot be bay because it can be bay because it might give you some <laughs> saucy saucy drop like saucy drop on the on 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 the on the thing in it in your account, and some people get a little bit. <clears throat> and if you don't know how to manage your money, like you're gonna be stressed. You're gonna be eating indomie. You're gonna be eating indomie every single day. Don't spend your money all on raves, doing uh, cash money, young money. Yeah, don't spend your money just on rapes. Remember that you have to live by yourself for one year. Your parents are not there and blah blah blah. One year. Um talking to the side of European students like me, um we have two different types of student finance we can get. We can get migrant worker or child of a migrant worker. Um child of a migrant worker is where you use your um your one of your parents uh, details or all income and all of that to the to the um, for for the student finance to give you money, but they have to show they have to give advent 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 English Louisa English come on you can't do this they have to give evidence yeah yeah you have to give evidence of that. Even though you're getting student finance, you're getting support from your parents as well. So they have to put uh, like a kind of amount in your an amount in your account, like every month or something, or every two months, just to help you in it. They have to show it. They have to show it. And then you have um, migrant worker is um, you get student finance normally to teach your fees paid all of that, but there's a but. Your parents are not supporting you, like they're not putting money in your account. But you, <laughs> you, I'm talking to you. You, you have to like get a part-time job and show them evidence every, um, every time. Basically, you have to show them the evidence that you have been working. So basically, you're getting your student finance, your maintenance uh, loan, plus you have to get a, a part-time job in the middle somewhere keep it safe keep some of them safe because you don't want to use all your money and reach uh, half of november with 0.0, .0 in your account you don't want to do that baby in friendships and relationships <laughs> friendship and relationship oh uh, friendships and relationship um how i made friends yeah I made friends, okay, obviously in your lecture or seminar room, you're gonna make at least one person is gonna be your bestie for, not for life, for, you can be your bestie for life and or bestie for the uni, yeah, in it. So because I joined um, ACS, I made a lot of friends, then I joined the Big Clash and I made more friends there, so um, in one year, you make friends, 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 
and remember not all of them are your friends make sure you open your eyes and try to understand who is your real friend who is gonna help you who's gonna be there on your late night doing your um what's it called doing your coursework make sure you grab the right one make sure you're gonna have the right one to help you to push you <laughs> Not the one that's gonna sex you, yo. There's a way, you know. Let's go. No, even can you come? Like, let's go. Let's go to this way. The next day, oh, there's another way. There's house party. Let's go. Oh, this thing. Let's go. Nah, mate. Party, but remember that you're in uni for a reason. You're in uni to gain your um, degree. Understand that. Um, relationships. <laughs> I remember the induction day one lecture was like oh you're gonna find your um some of you are gonna find your husbands or your wives in uni don't go to uni with a mindset that i'm gonna find husband i'm gonna find wifey don't go to uni with that mindset because people come into uni to have fun they come to have fun so make sure that uh, you don't come to uni with a mindset that I'm gonna find a husband because. Oh my god, you just landed, man! You just landed! Yeah, anyway, I was saying there were some kids in my garden, so I don't like that. But yeah, I was saying, um, what was I saying? I forgot, but yeah, don't come to uni with a mindset that you're gonna find a husband because most of them are here to have fun. Yes. Yeah. I think that's all for the uni advice and um, make sure you have a great year at uni make sure you have fun but always remember that you got a lecture to go to and um, make sure that the reason why you're going to uni is the reason why you're going to uni and again guys make sure you purchase your brillade clothing uh, items and support the movement make sure you like comment and share and subscribe 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 to the channel thank you for watching guys bye